Welcome to TSS Associates Troubleshooting Guide for the Bosch Inverter Heat Pumps. Today, we'll show you how to calculate superheat on an IDS system. Let's get started. Our first step is to put the system into cooling mode. Note, the unit has to be calling for cooling for a minimum of 8 minutes to go into the force mode. Then we need to initiate the force mode by pressing the force button at the top of our board. It will be labeled force. Then you will see a sideways T appear in the LED display. The next step is to make sure the unit has been running in cooling mode for a minimum of 10 minutes when it is in the force mode. Now observe the temperature of the suction line at the outlet of the evaporator. This can be done by a digital strap on a thermometer. If you are using the 2.0 series, you will be able to view the suction line temperature from the check mode by scrolling to number 12 in the check menu. Next, you will want to scroll to number 9 in the check menu. You will now be viewing your suction line pressure. From here, you could use a pressure temperature chart to make your calculation based on your suction pressure. For example, if your suction pressure was at 130 psi, you would have a saturation temperature of 45 degrees. Note, if you had your low side gauge cooked up to the unit, you can use your gauge as a TP chart. Now that we have established our saturation temperature and our true suction line temperature, the difference of these two will be considered our superheat calculation. Based on this calculation, we now are looking for 6 to 18 degrees difference of superheat. Please reference the chart based on the size of the unit we are working on. If you find your temperature is greater than 18 degrees, you need to add refrigerant to bring the superheat in range. If your superheat is less than 6 degrees, you would do the opposite and remove refrigerant to warm up your suction line. That is the basis of determining your superheat using the Bosch inverter series. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this training video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Like, share, and subscribe for more valuable content. Have a great day.